What is going on, Dan? I'm Thunder checking out Shadow Raven, Burning to Sin. It has been a while since we've heard some Shadow Raven. The last two songs were, I was going to say pretty emotional, but definitely fairly too strongly emotional. With loving memories and never would have thought. Both very emotional tracks. But let's check this out, Burning to Sin. Judging just by the title, probably not as emotional. <laughs> probably not. Burning to Sin, probably not. But possible. Let me what you guys think down below. Hit like. Let's check this out. Maybe. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe. That guitar riff that's going throughout the verses, it's low-key stealing the show. It is really good. I don't know who is doing the backing scream, but they're killing it. What's it this behavior that landed me here? Or was it just a train? That's a, that's good. Just look in my face. See the evil friend. Look into my eyes. Can't you see the eyes? Give us a solo.
Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like that track. That was pretty good. Pretty good. I probably preferred the other two slightly more, but this was good. And it, this is a song that was just by the way the guitar riff was going throughout the verses. You knew that that motherfucker was going to hit a solo in a mean one. You could just feel he was whole, he was waiting for it. God, God damn it. He got gave it to us and it was prolonged. I'm glad. I even probably would have had the solo kind of continue through that next chorus that dropped right afterwards. Just let him keep cooking as the chorus is being sung. Just let him cook for a minute. He cuz he was hot. When they're hot, just let him go. Don't touch him. Don't don't fuck with him. Let him go. Let him finish. Let him get it all out. He probably had a little left. Probably had a little left in the tank. But good song, man. I like it. It wasn't emotional. You can kind of tell by the burning to sin. This one was a little, well, slightly emotional. But not not near the same. The other one was like about loss of loved ones. The, the last two tracks. Loss and breakup of loved ones. So yeah, Those were like just obviously song written to be emotional. This one, not so much. But good stuff. Love the guitar riff. That definitely stood out. Love the guitar riff. Definitely stood out. And also, surprisingly, preferred the vocal of the verses over the chorus. The chorus's vocals were okay. The screams were crushed. And I always love it. When someone, in any song, when someone, when the word scream is being said in a lyric, you almost owe the lyric a background scream. You, you almost do. You almost have to. You can't say something is screaming and then you don't either scream it or have it being screamed in the background. It almost has to. Or you're just a bad storyteller. <laughs> you just are. Good stuff. Hit like. Subscribe. Shadow Raven. Nevermore. <laughs> Quote the Shadow Raven. <laughs>